Hey there, it's Tricia with Easy e -mini Trade, and I want to show you um, a divergence trade and how you can use the tick to confirm not only divergence, but buying at support and selling at resistance. And I'm going to go over all this during a webinar that I'm going to do on Thursday, this Thursday, the 16th of June at 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you want more info on that, just go to my website, www.easyeminitrade.com, and choose the webinar tab at the top, and all the information is there. So I'm going to go over divergence trades and using the tick to confirm either um, the diver and or, I guess I should say, divergence trades and buying support, selling resistance. And also I'm going to show you um, an interesting way that you can find support and resistance if you're struggling with that. And I'll give you a quick example of that today as well. So you're looking at the NQ for today, which is Tuesday the 14th. And you can see here that I've got this general area of support marked at, what is it at, 93.50. And you can see it here. I had 95, but you could see if you look earlier today, it's been hanging all around the 95, 43.95. And here I get divergence. And the way that I would view this is that it tried to break through support and it failed. So here's support. It was holding here earlier, tried to get through it and it failed, came right back up, tried to get through it again and it failed. And in that area, you can see on price, we have a lower low here than here. And on my stochastic, I have a higher low here than here. So that's what I'm looking for to take a divergence trade. Using the tick, and the tick is an internal, um, and I'll go more of that on, over more of that on Thursday. But right here is where that exact area on price was here. This is what we saw on the tick. So we kind of have double confirmation here looking at the tick because we've got divergence as well, giving us lower, excuse me, higher lows, right? So we got higher lows on our stochastic as well. And not only that, but we have the tick at support. And you'll draw support and resistance lines on your um, tick chart the same as you will on a price chart. And ideally when you're coming down to support, that's hopefully when you're buying support on your um, entry chart. And if you're selling resistance, hopefully the tick is also at resistance. So that's one additional way that you can use the tick to confirm taking range trades. So not only with divergence, but is it also at support. So I want to show you a really easy way to help you if you're struggling finding your support resistance. So what you're looking at, this is the NQ on a 15-minute chart, and you can put it on any size chart you like. And then on the left here, I have the indicator called volume by price. Um, I think in Ninja it might be called market profile. Um, anyway, I'll find something similar in Ninja, and I'll make sure to let you guys know what it is on Thursday night at the webinar. But we'll go over this as well during the webinar. If you see... Um, over here on the left, you can see we've got these green and red lines here. And this is actually representing the amount of volume at each price level. So if you're having trouble finding support resistance by looking at your chart, then just draw a line where you see the highest concentrations of volume. So right here, I could put a line because I have a pretty high concentration of volume. You can see it coming out here. And then up here, I can also draw a line up there. And then I can draw one down here. And I can draw one here. And I can draw one here. So you can see a couple of these we have a little bit um, wider areas. So if you see something like that, like if I was looking at this, what this would tell me here, let me just get rid of my lines here, because we've got all this volume right here. And I'm just going to highlight it a little bit better like this, it's that whole area. What this is, would tell me is that I've got a whole lot of congestion here and I'm going to want to be really aware of support and resistance areas. 
but drawing just one line at the higher concentration so you can see it came out to here on this volume right here so I draw my line so if you compare that with um, price on this 15 minute chart you can see that that's actually marking a pretty good area of resistance right resistance over here resistance support resistance general area of support and support so if you're struggling looking at the price then do that just mark them in those general areas and then once you have them marked where you have the higher concentration of volume then you can move them around and fine-tune them a little bit so like here where we've got this one at 9550 we have a couple areas that we can actually choose if we were just drawing our line we can choose up here at like 96 we can choose up here above this bar and this bar here at 9650 I could actually even go lower down here under these bars here at 94 and a quarter so it can be a little bit confusing so mark I'm going to show you mark a line right here where you've got that higher concentration area of volume and that will be the area where you have again the most concentration of volume out of the areas that are um, in this vicinity like I just showed you 94 and change 95 and change 96 and change so if it were me I would likely choose this 9550 spot so I know that this is pretty quick but I will go over and spend more time on this on Thursday and I hope you find it helpful if you have any questions feel free to send me an email and I hope you have a fabulous evening